Now, what's on this side? Okay, that's a single. So, single. Single. What is this one? Nothing. Oh, what did that do to me? Single. Okay. I think we're gonna have to stand on these and hope for the best. Um, do we match them up? All right. I think though, more than anything, what we're gonna need is somebody. Oh, wait. That's pretty. That's also pretty. Also pretty. Okay. All right. Listen, I'm gonna just, when I call your name, come stand where I tell you to stand. So then that way you can stand here and we could get going across the weird bridge I'm making. Okay. So it looks like we got the first two. I think I got to get all the way across and then it'll make it stable for everybody kind of thing. Right? Here's hoping that I don't cross this bridge by myself. Um, but I need the last two pieces without sending me going splat into the bottom. I'm, I'm trusting you guys. This is fine, right? Like, we'll get through this. No problem. Uh, I think who has to, what did we decide on? Um, let's see. I think when maybe, maybe if you move to the other side, um, and, and not get me killed, that would be great. Remember to feed Watson if I don't make it out of this, okay? Would you look at that? Okay. One more. We, we only need one, one more tile. That's it. And then hopefully this bridge forms for everybody and not just me. Uh, I think, I think, Alistair, it's your turn to move all the way to the other side. Just listen, when you step off that tile, can you just make sure I don't fall and so you could step right back? You know what I mean? Just kind of like when just did it to be safe. Okay, this should be it, right? This should be the last tile. I did it right. Yeah. Andraste only favored the clever, it seems. Apparently, but look it, we did it. Okay, everybody can come back and hang out with me now because that would be great. <sighs> Just nobody get hurt crossing that bridge. Woo. Hopefully we don't have to do something like that again anytime soon, huh? There's fire. By the maker. Uh-huh. It's. Yeah. It's the urn of sacred ashes. Is that what that is? That's it. That's really it. I, I thought it was a legend. I didn't believe. Same. Congratulations. You found your pot of holy dirt. Thank you. Um, okay. What is, it's, there's an inscription, I think in it. Cast off the trappings of worldly life and cloak yourself in the goodness of spirit. King and slave, Lord and beggar. Be born anew in the maker's sight. It's asking me to get naked, isn't it? Okay. Nobody look! Okay, good. So happy. We're all in our underwear. Together. Yay. Let's cross the fire. And, you know, close your eyes while you do it. You have been through the trials of the gauntlet. Yes. You have walked the path of Andraste. In my underwear. And like her, you have been cleansed. You have proven yourself worthy, Pilgrim. Can I have my Approach clothes back? The sacred ashes. Okay. Thank you. Oh, good. My clothes are back. Oh. Woo. Okay, everybody. Good. I guess we made it. I didn't think anyone could succeed in finding Andraste's final resting place. But here, here she is. I could not have asked for a greater honor than to be here. I will never forget this feeling. Congratulations, you found a waste bin. Thanks, Den. Well, here they are, Andraste's remains. All right, let's take a pinch for the 
Arl and get out of here, huh? What? Don't look at me like that. You knew I wasn't going to poison these, right? Like, I wasn't going to drop the blood and don't be ridiculous. I was never going to listen to that crazy person. Let's hope the crazy person has forgotten about us and maybe got eaten by the dragon while we were, you know, going through that gauntlet. Um... Well, good news. There are less of them this time. Any way we can convince him that we did what he thought we did or no? Okay. Well, let's get this over with. You have been to the urn? I have! But Andraste has not been freed? <gasps> no! What manner of treachery is this? What do you mean? I did free Andraste, can't you tell? How did it not work? Lies! You have betrayed us! Betrayed our lady! I betrayed and nobody. Now you will die! Behold the fiery vengeance of Andraste herself! What? You must not exhaust okay! Okay! Uh, hey, mage first! Mage first! Very well. Guys! Mage! Mage first! This is great. Remember me! Okay. Come, Nobody die! That's an order! Win! I need you! Guys? Guys, nobody die. All right, I'm gonna get the dragon. Alistair? Alistair, are you okay, honey? Okay, good. Alistair's alive. Just, just this guy. Jen, did you really just fall asleep in the middle of all this? Jen! Have you no concern for your own existence? Sten, wake up. The fight's over. You don't have to nap anymore. Okay, we did it. Good. Okay. Um, time to go home now, right? Oh, thank you, Wynn. That feels better. Okay, did he have anything fun Very in his well. pockets? Lots of... He has a horn. I'm gonna leave his horn with him. Uh, I'll just, you know, grab some stuff and then we'll get out of here. Okay. Big scary fire that I still don't know who lit it. I'm guessing the cultist. And there is our one and only... Brother Genitivi, you're okay! Welcome back. Hi! You were gone for quite some time. I know. Well, did you find it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did, actually. Um, how is your leg, though? Better. Good. Much better. Excellent. It seems I shall have the limp for the rest of my days, but at least I have my life. Did... did you find it? Oh. Uh, the urn. Yeah, yes, uh, I did, actually. Is that... There's some dust on... No, that's not dust. Oh, Maker, I'm not worthy to look upon. What... what was it like, coming to the urn, I mean? I... It was... interesting. Um... It was definitely something. It was a grueling set of tests, actually, both mental and physical. It was interesting. Tests? Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. Wasn't it? Perhaps my research will not seem so much like blasphemy to the Chantry now. We must organize an expedition. There is so much history here, it must be studied. And and pilgrims should be allowed to come to the Ann. Are you sure that that would be wise? Aren't people going to try to exploit this? I know you have good intentions, or at least you seem like you do, but how do we know everybody else is going to that comes here? How do we know that the Chantry itself is going to have, you know, good intentions. Isn't it something that we should be concerned about? I mean, it's only the six of us, or, yeah, six of us that, that know that this was real, plus the cultists. Plus, there's a dragon here, by the way, in case you were curious. There's a dragon up top, but, you know, I worry. I worry that somebody, just random, might come here, take it over. I mean, we don't know what people would do for these ashes. What about the Chantry? What if they start exploiting it? What if they start exploiting the fact that they can control people getting healed or whatever, or the pilgrimage itself? We have to be careful. But the urn belongs to all the faithful. How can you deny this to them? No, we must share it. You have noble intentions, Brother Genitivi. But can you say the same of your brethren in the Chantry? Thank you. So everyone comes by and takes some ashes from the urn. Oh, I hope that urn is self-replenishing. Same. Deny them a corpse? Unthinkable indeed. <laughs> 
I will spread this good news or die trying. <sighs> Listen, I... I know that this has been your life's work, and I can respect that. I really and truly can, but... I don't know if you're seeing the other side of this, the ramifications that this will have. But listen, I can't stop you, I can't live your life for you, and I certainly can't make decisions for you, and I'm not going to kill you over this because that's ridiculous. But just know, if anything bad comes of this, if anything happens, it's, it's on you. We tried to stop you. I must return home. I have much to do. If you ever find yourself in Denerim, please visit me. I am not a rich man, but I have a small collection of interesting artifacts, and I do owe you a reward for coming to my rescue. I hope to see you soon, my friend. This place? This place is about to be overrun with people who have no idea what they're doing. They're going to have scholars and pilgrims and people looking for a miracle cure. Everything. And there's a dragon still. If we have time, can we put the killing the dragon on the to-do list? I doubt we'll ever have the time, but... You know, maybe once the blight is cured, or at least remind me to tell somebody you know, at the Chantry, I guess, about the dragon, but either way, I don't know. It doesn't feel right. It feels like these halls, these this building, this everything isn't going to be used for whatever it was intended for. And while I'm not somebody that subscribes to any of this, it's still, I don't know. There's still a feeling to this place and it deserves respect. And you know that that's about to be disturbed. And I can't help but feeling that even though it was the right reason to come here and get these ashes, we still didn't, like, it, we, we had our own hand in it, you know? And I, I don't know. It doesn't sit well. Where am I? Be calm, brother. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isolde? I am here, my husband. I'm Connor. Where is my boy? Where is our son? He lives. Though many others are dead. There is much to tell you, husband. Dead? Then... It was not a dream. Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be... Easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. This is most troubling. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, you have not only saved my life, but kept my family safe as well. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? Uh, that, just help against the Blight. That's honestly all that I need. I understand, but regardless of your motivations, I feel you are worthy of a reward. I would like to honor your efforts. Nothing more. I, as you wish then, I don't know if I'm in a position to say no, exactly. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you Champions of Redcliffe, you will always be a welcome guest within these halls. Oh, thank and for you. you, Warden. Me? A shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. Thank you. Uh, very, very much. I appreciate that. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Yeah, that's the crux of it. Long I have known him. He is a sensible man. One who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. So what are you proposing then? Because it sounds like you have an idea. We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance of fighting the Darkspawn. Uh, okay. So, then what? Everything I've done's for nothing so far? Come on, that can't, that can't be where you're going with this. No, not at all. 
Logan is responsible for heinous crimes, and I intend to see him pay. Okay. But our armies must be reserved for the Darkspawn, not for each other. I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause. But we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? What? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative. But the unthinkable has occurred. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No! I... He's not a pawn to be used, he's a person! Y you intend to put him forward as king, have you asked him if that's what he wants to do? Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? I do! You have a responsibility, Alistair. No, he doesn't! Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet, a gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. It, wait, <laughs> what? Why do you even need my blessing in all of this? None of this would be possible without you. You led Alistair here. You saved my life with the urn of sacred ashes. It's your lead I follow. I am a credible enough figure in this nation to call the lands meet, but I hold no illusions that I could face Loghain without you. Surely you see that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. What are my options right now? You have already found allies, but we need those to fight Darkspawn. I truly believe the Landsmeet is our best option. We could attempt to wage a military campaign against Loghain. But even if we win, would we have enough left to defeat the Darkspawn? No. No, but neither would Loghain. Agreed. Perhaps Loghain gambles on this attitude. That everyone will decide facing the Darkspawn is more vital than facing him. So that he leads us against the Horde. It seems we have little choice then, because the Darkspawn are the bigger threat. And we can't, we can't risk the armies over him. There has to be a different way to take him down, and it seems like your plan is the only one. Very well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives, I understand. He does. He is in the dungeon, brother. Have him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. Jowan, what you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord. Other than to say I am sorry. I expect no mercy for what I have done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf? Uh, he cooperated willingly, though I know he had little choice in the matter. But he does seem earnest in his desire to make up for everything that he did. Oh? That is... unexpected. And what would you have me do? As the injured party, my ability to see the merciful path is... strained. I, I can understand that and respect that wholeheartedly. I'm... I don't know, maybe give him back to the circle? Let them deal with him so you don't have to decide either way because, I don't know, it seems like a circle matter at this point. Or you could let him go. Let the circle hunt them if they wish. I mean, not for nothing, but without him, we wouldn't have potentially helped you, I mean. Or maybe then again, we would have found another way anyways. But I don't know. I kind of vote just giving him back to the circle. What does everybody else think? True enough and wisely said. Jowan. I hereby turn you over to the Tower of the Circle of Magi. May the Maker have mercy on your soul. Thank you, my lord. Now, back yeah. to the matter of the Landsmeet. All right. It will take some time to recall my forces and organize our allies. I would prefer to wait until that is done before calling the Landsmeet. In the meantime, I suggest you pursue the remainder of the Grey Warden treaties. We will need all the allies we can get if we are to defeat the Darkspawn Horde.
All right. Well, then, I'm going to go talk to all the people that I need to talk to. Hopefully get the dwarves and the Dalish on our side. And then, you know, I'll come back and we'll throw a lands meet. And I'm going to find a way to get Alistair out of this mess because I don't, I don't think he deserves that fate. So, let's go get a good night's sleep. Is this, this is my mother's amulet. Yeah. It has to be. But why isn't it broken? Where did you find it? I, I found it at Redcliffe Castle when we were just there, actually, uh, in the study. When everybody was talking as we were finishing up, I went poking about a little bit and, um, you know, and nobody noticed. Oh, the Arl study? Yeah. Then he must have found the amulet after I threw it at the wall, and he repaired it and kept it. I don't understand. Why would he do that? I don't know. Maybe he always meant to give it back to you. Maybe... You mean more to him than you think you do. Maybe he always saw you as a son or, I don't know, something more than just the child he had to raise for a little bit. I guess you could be right. Maybe. We never really talked that much. And then the way I left... I know. Thank you. You're welcome. I mean it. I thought I'd lost this to my own stupidity. I'll need to talk to him about this. The next time I see him, that Of is. course, of course. I wish I'd had this a long time ago. Did you remember me mentioning it? Yeah, I did. Wow. Huh. I'm more used to people not really listening when I go on about things. <laughs> Alistair, of course I remembered. You, well, y you know, just us, it's, you know. Is this the part when the music starts and we begin dancing? Alistair! Because I'm game. <laughs> Where's the minstrels? <laughs>